Hey everyone, so this is me coming out from behind the camera, so you know, be nice. Um, I wanted to show you a little trick today using the selection brushes in ZBrush. These are really, really handy little trip, little trip, little trick. This is a really handy little trick that I use all the time and it's been a life saver for me since I found out about it, um, which is a few months ago. I think Joseph Drust showed it on a video somewhere. So. I have a little utility here. If I will actually show you my keystrokes, if I hold down control, you'll see that down here. Control and shift together will show you that. And control shift tap, for example, will show you the left click. It will even show you if I hold down control shift and hold. So you'll see that there. So by default in ZBrush, whatever sculpting brush you're on, if I'm working on something, if I hold down control and shift, it will change to the select rect brush every time I hold down control and shift. So this allows me to just control shift drag over an area and isolate that area so that I can then go in and work on that without the distraction of the rest of the model, which is pretty cool. If I want to bring everything back, I just hit control shift tap and that will bring everything back onto the screen. So we can select an area like that. And then if we control shift drag, we can actually invert that selection. Every time we do it, we just keep on inverting or control shift tap to bring everything back. So you might, this is the most commonly used control shift, you know, uh, option that you have, that you'll, you'll use this a lot kind of thing. Um, and it will also do stuff like select polygroups. So if we had a polygroup in here, let's say I had taken an area like this, I'm gonna hit control W to make that a polygroup. So if I have this and I know that this is my polygroup, I can just hit control shift and that will isolate that polygroup for me. So control shift as well as being a drag selection will also allow me to control shift tap a polygroup and isolate that selection. So you'll use this an awful lot when you're doing characters like isolating a hand or an arm or a nose or whatever it is that you're working on. So really handy functionality. Uh, and because you use it a lot, you'll kind of expect it to always be there. So that may not always be the case. When you hold down control and shift, you don't have to choose the select rec tool. You can choose other sub tools or other selection tools in here. And some of them are not really selection tools. They're slicing tools or trimming tools. For example, we have a trim curve here. So if I choose this, now when I hold down Control and Shift, I'm gonna get this curve down here, which is gonna trim everything on the shadow side of my model away from my model. So you see that that's now cut off. So we can hold down Control and Shift and we can even tap Alt once and it'll give us a little bit of a curve. Uh, and if we even hold down space while we're also holding down control and shift, we can move that into an area that we like and start trimming off areas that we don't like on our model or that we don't want in our model. Really, really handy. So the thing about this is you get used to having the select rect available to you at all times and it's not. If I hold down control and shift and I've got the trim curve, it will still work on poly groups. I can just control shift tap even with the trim curve selected and that will still work. I can bring everything back. But I can't drag across because obviously I'm in the trim curve now. If I let go of this, I basically I've trimmed it. I don't have my select rect. So if I'm in the middle of doing something and I decide, okay, I've been trimming and then I've gone back to my normal sculpting brush. I'm working away, working away. And then I decide, oh, I'd actually like to isolate this area down here. Uh, and I kind of hold down control shift and expect to be dragging a select rect across my model and it's not there. I have two options. So one is that I let go in which case I have to trim and now undo and then hold down control and shift and go back up here and choose my select rect and then make my selection as before. That's one way to do it. It's really clunky and awkward and it's annoyed me for a long time. Um, but what you'll find is if you do have control shift, let's say we have the trim curve brush selected. If I have that selected and I go to make this stroke and I realize, oh, I've got the, the curve brush selected. I really wanted the select rect. All you have to do while holding down control and shift is let go of control and then tap it again. And it will change that brush into a select rec. You'll see up here that we still have the trim curve selected, but it's kind of done this for us because this is the more commonly used option. So now we can let go of both and isolate that selection. So even though we're holding down control and shift and we're trimming and trimming and doing all that trimming at any given stage rather, if we decide we want, oh, I don't want to trim, I want to change this to a select rect, with my shift and control L down, I just let go of control, tap it once, and now I have this option here to isolate that selection. Really, really handy trip, trick, 
uh, and I hope you'll enjoy it and get use out of it in the future. So if you have any comments, leave them in the comment section. And don't forget to like, subscribe and do all that usual YouTube stuff. All right. Cheers. Bye.